Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. It is Friday, the 4th of March. This is our weekly recap, and it's been a wild week. My description, link in the description below if you want to join us at live uh, Smart Option Trading. We have a live room on Discord, and would love to have you with us. I'm not going to sell you guys today. It's been a wild week, guys. Let's just take a step back and talk about this week. You know, starting with um, all hell breaking loose on Sunday night, the gap down on Monday and then being bought back, right? And here we are back down. It's been a wild ride in the markets and we've had nuclear feel, uh, sorry, nuclear fears. We've had a lot going on this week and overall the market is extremely nervous about what's going on in Ukraine and what the fallout of this is going to be. Russia has been isolated in a way we've never seen a country isolated before. And the market here is saying, it's just not happy and it's concerned. We have crude spiking, we have a lot going on. So right now we are below 432 with 20 minutes to go into the close on Friday. And if we cannot recapture that level, you know that's just not a good thing. We don't wanna be closing below here and that opens the door eventually back down to 410. Bottom line, until we can get above this uptrend, clear the 21 day, get above this, this downtrend here, which has been sitting in here now for a while, this market is stuck in a downward trend. It's just not in a rush to get there. This is not the typical sell-offs we've seen in the last couple of years. This is a more normal sell-off where we come down and we just keep making a series of lower highs and rolling back over, right? So the SPY is weak, the Qs are weak, okay? IWM has been rocked again. The VIX here still holding up above 32, not out of the Bollinger Band, still inside the Bollinger Bands, but doesn't want to go anywhere. Crude is becoming an ever-pressing problem upon this market. Up over 100 now at 115, hit 116.57. That's weighing on things. Gold is running. For you guys who are part of my um, 2022 Outperform names, I sent an update with gold on it for a couple of uh, month and a half ago. That's worked nicely. Shut up, Paul. People in the room are having fun with me here. <laughs> um, you know, the market's been on fire. So let's talk about this week. What was there to do? What was good? You know, it was a mixed week. Square gave a nice trade on Monday and then has rolled over and it's in that gap now. It's still one of the stronger names on a good report. Traded that. Tesla took me for a bad ride this week on Tuesday. Broke above the 21, 21 day. Didn't hold it. We've been talking about how Tesla has been under this now since the 12th of uh, 13th of January back under the 200 day here, very, very weak. So that's not been trading well. Energy has been on an absolute tear. Chevron, another new all time high. Exxon Mobil pushing up to new range highs. Oxy on a rage, right? So we're seeing big moves there. Nugget and gold continue to run higher here. The market is going into safety plays, places where it feels safe. Bonds also pushing back up, flight to safety. You know, the, nobody can tell you what to do, but it, in B, what we spent this afternoon talking about is what do you want to own when this is over? What names look strong? What names do you still like in this market? And where do you want to be? And I would focus on the names that have good earnings, the names that have been strong off of earnings and trying to hold up. The bottom line is here is this market's in a correction. We have a lot of uncertainty. We have fears of the world going to war, which I really hope won't happen because if that happens, it's probably game over. But there's fears of NATO getting involved in Ukraine. There's fear of just, you know, the unknown. And that's really what it is. It's the unknown. What could happen from here? So the Fed meets in a week and a half. They're going to raise by 0.25%. That's pretty much a lock locked at this point. And the market accepts that. What we really need is some type of resolution here on Ukraine to get this market going. Some ceasefire, anything that gives any uh, the ability for this to stop and to, to pull this off of the wall of fear and stop it. So until then, the market's in a weak phase. We've lost 432 again. That's an important spot. If we cannot hold that, again, I look for possible retest of 410 or even lower. If we can hold 432 and we can get above this downtrend, which is roughly right now, as of today, sitting at the 440 area, then we can try to push up. But until then, the market remains stuck in a downtrend and you need to be extremely careful. Hope you're doing well. I'll be 
live with you guys on doing charts on Sunday and a video for all members. And I'll catch you guys live on Monday morning in the room.